Given the circumstances uh, the global economy is experiencing at this moment, uh, what we would like to have is recover economic growth and, and try to uh, fight uh, unemployment. I think those are the biggest concerns that citizens in the world are facing today. But also for Mexico it will be very important if we are able to have um, the issue of green growth incorporated into the G20 agenda. We do believe uh, it's not a dilemma between growing uh, uh, without protecting the environment or growing protecting the environment and the natural resources. I think we can do both and in that sense um, both issues are important. Recover economic growth, recover employment and do it uh, with due respect to, to natural resources and the environment. Yes, we do believe the G20 is a very useful forum where, where leaders can discuss, can take actions and give political in, input to other uh, fora where things are being discussed but maybe they don't have the possibility to achieve uh, success because they don't have this political support. So the possibility of having leaders discuss in the moment what's happening uh, without the necessity of, of negotiating, uh, having an agreement, uh, a, a draft resolution, that makes it easier. Of course, the previous work is done by the Vice Ministers of Finance, by the Sherpas, where there are global agreements. But for them to be sitting around the table under discuss a, a given subject in an informal setting uh, is very, very important. So this I think the other most important issues is if there was no forum in which developed countries and developing countries could discuss in, in at the same level. It was the G7 or the G8 and sometimes they invited either African um, countries or some emerging countries. And in, that, in this moment we are all in parity level discussing the same issues and giving um, our own experiences and how can we share them. At this very moment, uh, the emerging countries are the ones that are growing, and on the contrary, developed economies are not growing. So I think there's lots, lots of things to learn and to share. Yeah, there's, there's a perception that uh, how can uh, such a small group m make decisions for everybody? But I do want to clarify that it's, it's not a decision-making body. It's a mechanism where we coordinate policies among ourselves and, and we go through the universal bodies uh, to try to implement most of them. Uh, what I do believe what we have to do in the Mexican presidency and we are trying to do is be, be as transparent and as inclusive as possible. We try to listen to what other countries are, are saying about the global economy, about the, the problems and try to incorporate their concerns in our, in our work. So this sector that we include, we're talking with think tanks, we're talking with NGOs, uh, we're talking of course with, with businessmen and with trade unions. So in that sense we're trying to, to get as many inputs from different sources. And in that sense it, it gives uh, much more credibility and legitimacy to, to the G20.